Well, hello. My name is Mina from The Foolish Couple. Last week, I talked about New Year's resolution and more specifically, how we suck at meeting our goals. And that's the reason behind us failing is because we're our own worst enemy. And that's why the one thing that most of us are missing is a coach. We all have different goals, so we all need different coaches. There are coaches out there that are specific to a career, to a sport, to a skill, to your health, and then there are coaches that are more general in nature, such as a life coach. There are coaches that cost probably around 75 bucks an hour, and then there are coaches that cost $5 million a dollar. You say, what? $5 million? Who would pay $5 million bucks for a coach? Well, here's the thing. Let's say you own this company and your sales for the past few years has plateaued to like just say five million and it will help this coach you could bring your company's sales up to 50 million now do you think that coach is worth five million of course that is a 10x improvement who would be crazy enough to say no the thing is the coach is there to help you set the right goals maybe losing 10 pounds isn't your real goal your real goal may be to prevent illnesses like diabetes. Maybe your goal isn't to find a new job, but to really redefine yourself in terms of your career. There's a difference, and the right coach can help you define the goals that are truly for you. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you want to get healthier and you've heard all about the latest thing that is fasting. So you Google fasting, and just like anyone else would, you came up with a gazillion hits. They talk about intermittent fasting, extended fasting, water fasting, fat fasting, dry fasting, fasting for health, fasting for religion, the risk of fasting, and so on and so forth. The Google search goes on and on until you actually feel really hungry and not want to fast at all. You get discouraged because you really don't know what is the right thing to do. And before you say, I'm going to ask my doctor, well, unless you have some underlying health concern, your doctor can help you. Medical doctors are there to prescribe you with medication or send you to get a medical procedure if you need it. They're, they are not there to guide you through your quest to better health. So what should you do? Get a health coach and be specific. Look for a coach that has experience with what you're going through. While every coach has different skill sets, there are some commonalities amongst all good coaches. And here's a few things three things that our coaches should help you with. Take responsibility of your actions and your reactions. That's number one. Now number two, as I have mentioned earlier, set the right goals and also know when it is time to quit pursuing the wrong goals. Number three, get you out of the box. What I mean is this, you are where you are because of who you are. You have pretty much boxed yourself into this box because you have gotten yourself into a box through your actions and your life experiences. And what you want, your goals, is outside of that box. Let's put it this way. If your goal is inside the box, you would have already gotten it. So your goal is really outside your box. Sometimes way outside the box where you can barely see it. Now a good coach can help you set the right intention, give you the right inspiration, and guide you to the right implementation in order for you to get to your ultimate goal. Be willing to pay the price though. Not just for the coaches, but for the trade-offs and the sacrifices that you will need to make. So how do you find a right coach? Well, I'll leave that for next week. Until next time, love what you live and live what you love.